Morning. Uh, today we got a kind of a unique little job to go do. Uh, it's not not really a lot of work. A bunch of little things that this customer wants. Don't know how much I'll be filming there, but uh, I'll take you along with and uh, kind of keep showing you my day to day. So I think someone wants to say hi. What do you say, Fred? Ready to go to work? Let's go. All right, guys. So we got a little bit of edging to do here at this property. We're going to be doing a, a donkey door. I don't know if you can see them, but for the donkeys that are back there. But they don't have the materials here right now. <clears throat> so we're working on a little bit of edging. Nice straight lines. It's always nice to do a little bit of edging. Gives it that nice crisp look. So it's all done. On to the next. They want me to either A cut the asphalt to make it straight, but I feel like it's just that the grass is overgrown. So I'm gonna try edging that first. And uh see see where the asphalt is. I did a little test section right here. And, uh, you know, there, there's a good six inches of grass that was overgrown. So looking down the line, it might just be that the grass is overgrown. Give it a shot. <clears throat> Alright, so, kind of looking at this. I don't know if you guys can see the red line. Uh, probably not. But snap the string line right here. Square this asphalt up. They don't like how it bumps out right here. So I'll be doing that there. Squaring this up with the edge of the sidewalk. There's about four inches that stick out past the sidewalk. And then, yeah. So, here we go. I mean, we're in a dust mask. I don't know. Sometimes using water, it just makes a big mess. So, I don't know, it's just easier for me to put a dust mask every, on, every once in a while. But here's what we got going on. Kind of squared up this corner. And then ran a line down there. Getting rid of all the stuff on the left. So, definitely a must-have is one of those concrete saws. Very versatile and can use them in a lot of places. All right, uh, what I'm gonna show you here is a classic case of uh, customer isn't always right. They wanted me to just start hacking away at the asphalt. Yes, there was one area here on this project where she didn't like where it bumped out. I cut that for her. She thought that everything else around here needed to be cut. It's just uh, that the grass has overgrown the edge of the asphalt so here did an edge around there edge around here and uh, I'm going to wrap around this corner here and take care of this I, I do have for the asphalt I ripped the asphalt out over here and uh, made that square for her alright let's keep going alright so we got that little bit of little pile right there to clean up but got the uh, good edges again you didn't have to cut any asphalt so 
there we go um, I'm sure some of you guys are wondering what I'm using uh, I guess I'll show you it's a weed whacker it's a weed whacker that I'm using and I just put a skill saw blade on the thing it's starting to get worn out um, I call it my weed saw uh, it's good for cutting down cattails or not even cattails but like woody growth around ponds or just some buckthorn that you have works really great for that and then uh, just a steel steel weed whacker with a edger attachment so simple tools but they get the job done all right guys it's lunch time let's go get some lunch uh, like I said this project here I'm not gonna film a lot uh, the both homeowners are both retired and I don't know how they feel about cameras so we're just gonna do a little bit as we go here uh, as you saw earlier I did all the edging around here uh, and well I quick little break for you guys but about 30 minutes have passed or whatever uh, they have a arch that I set up for them she's been outside managing the whole project making sure it's exactly where she wants it so I think it's there uh, it's all set we're gonna go get some lunch all right, well, we just got finished up with lunch here. Went and had Subway, something quick. Uh, there was a Home Depot right across the street from there. Stopped over there, grabbed some, uh, I don't know if you want to call it fish netting. It's a plastic netting. Uh, this customer that I've been working at today, they have insulation that's falling out in their uh, basement. So they had asked me to go get some of this netting and staple some of that, staple this netting in there so that they uh <clears throat> so that the insulation quits falling out so we'll see you back at the job all right we made it back got some friends here at this property Hi. I guess their names are Curly and Mo. Good donkeys. All right. <clears throat> so they also have some patio furniture to put together. Like I said, this isn't a, a typical day for me. But like I said, they're they're nice customers. And uh, you know, AMW, anything you might want. All right. So, let's see what we got here. Kind of pulled everything out of the box. Man, that's an awesome tool kit. Can't wait to use that. Yeah. Ah. Oops. Let's do some reading. Hmm. Looks simple. Reading's not my strong suit, so we're just gonna use this picture as I was good at looking at pictures. <laughs> now when I said that that toolkit that they sent was awesome, totally joking. This is one of the perks of having a, a service truck because uh, I think we'll get the right socket and wrenches for this and not have to screw around with those Chinese tools that they send you. Wouldn't even consider that a tool. <laughs> so here we go. All right, so I got all my sockets there, ratchets, extensions. Turns out to be a half inch. Let's continue putting this thing together. I gotta say, without reading directions, knock on wood. Well, there it is. It's put together. 
not bad for not reading directions. <laughs> now I, uh, now they have me putting patio seats together. They just kind of keep adding more, uh, more things to the do list, but it's all money, all extra money. So not going to say no, but, uh, another another one of those cheap tool kits so got the old Milwaukee out and uh, let's get this put together I think this one will actually read directions on all right they're all set up uh, no I, not the hose reels the furniture that stuff's done while we were doing that we had some some company oh come on I don't stink that bad come here Come here, donkey. All right, well, anyway, just about wrap, wrapping up here for the day. Uh, yeah, I got that stuff put together. Take that over to the homeowner's patio. I'm in their barn right now working on it. I had to use some persuasion for, for this kit, but uh, we got her done, and uh, now, now we're gonna head off to my sister-in-law's house, go take a look at a job for them, give them an estimate. Sounds like they're uh, looking for a shed pad and some uh, sidewalk going around the side of their house and a little pad for their garbage cans so that they don't have to be in their house anymore. See ya. All right guys, well, I went to my sister-in-law's, took a look at what she had going on. She wants a little shed pad and a little sidewalk off to the side of her house. Kind of explained that in the last clip here. But uh, I didn't record any of that. I haven't seen her in a while, so I figured we'd catch up. And uh, now we're just got home. It's a little after six, and uh, now we're going to work on some estimates and try uh, editing some of these videos because uh, tried last night and it didn't work out so well. So bear with me. <laughs> See you on the next one. What's up, YouTube? <laughs> it's the following day after doing all that random stuff at that lady's house, and uh, we're gonna go do some. Uh, fall cleanup or not fall cleanup spring cleanup it's spring and uh, this property is not really well taken care of they never the past couple years they've never asked for any cleanups or you know fertilizer applications anything like that so uh, don't eat me alive in the comments with how uh, how rough this place looks and uh, yeah take you along all right so here we are we're uh, this property over here we're gonna be taking care of today uh, sucks on how quick anything that you have when you're working how fast it can get filthy and a little trick that I learned some from good friends of mine for the especially the small equipment is run a good oil I run clots in there and then I also run race gas and all this two things it has a longer shelf life and it smells good while you're out there working. <laughs> Careful around the tree. Oh.
Off to the next. I probably should put two of them on. Got a far drive. Ugh. Wait to start. Alright, so kind of a quick simple one at that house there I don't, they don't really ask for much so here we are and uh, now we're off to our next one <clears throat> hopefully you guys buckled up for this far drive and we're here <laughs> all right well this corner here, it's a pretty long stretch. It takes some time. You might call me lazy for uh, riding the lawnmower all the way down there, stopping at all the areas I gotta trim. But uh, I'm sure I'm not the only one that does that. <laughs> but uh, anyways, that's uh, pretty much wrapping up our Friday here. Do have another quick little thing to go do. We're gonna go actually take all these mowers out of the back of my trailer here. And I'm gonna surprise my mom. Uh, not buying her a new car, but... Uh, her, her lawnmower that she has is kind of a hoopty, so I'm going to go get her something a little bit nicer, a bigger deck. So uh, she does a lot for me, so at least I can do for her. Uh, generally at, around Mother's Day, I'll do all the mulch for her, but now that I have this landscape business, I knocked that out the other day with a friend, with that friend of mine. And uh, so most people get their mom's flowers and cards, I get them tractors, I guess. Alright you guys, here it is. My mom's new chariot. All right, so that's what she had. Simplicity. Thing doesn't start anymore. She's had it forever, so it's not brand new, but it's it's used and it's it's newer. It's a 2011, I guess. It's got a bigger deck too, so I think she'll like it. What do you think? Where's the bow? Oh, well, it's a mower. <laughs> Be happy. <laughs> Go try it out. Wow. You like 
So what do you think? Fast. It's super fast. <laughs> it's, like a soup to, it's almost like a um, Mustang. Oh, <laughs> like, <laughs> better than that hoopty, oh hey? Yeah. That thing crawls through the yard. It took me two hours to cut the grass. Do you like how it cuts? I do. Well, there you go. Happy mom. Okay. And obviously I have my landscaping business, but she's so picky on cutting her grass, it was just best to buy her a lawnmower. <laughs> See you guys on the next one.